Well, in Georgia's parliamentary elections, preliminary results show Bidzina Ivanishvili's opposition coalition ahead. No complete results have been declared as yet, but the billionaire's Georgia dream movement leads President Mikhail Saakashvili's ruling party. Mr Saakashvili is seen as aligning himself with the West. While even Ishvili has campaigned on a platform of rebuilding Georgia's relations with Russia. Counting is well underway in Georgia's parliamentary election. Both the governing party, led by President Mikhail Saakashvili, and a coalition of opposition parties has claimed victory. And exit polls suggest they are, in fact, neck and neck. Saakashvili went on national television to plead for unity. We're all citizens of Georgia, he reminded his compatriots. We should all stand side by side and work together. Supporters of the six-party Georgian Dream movement have already begun celebrating, though. This is the first time in history that the people of Georgia have changed the country by voting, said billionaire coalition leader Bidzina Ivanishvili. President Mikhail Saakashvili acknowledged the opposition had won the party vote, but said his own party was ahead in direct elections and would maintain its majority in parliament. We are all Georgians. We are all citizens of our country. We all should stand side by side and work together in the current democratic conditions. Saakashvili lost considerable public support last month when TV stations, including one owned by Ivanishvili, broadcast secretly filmed footage from inside a prison, which appeared to show the beating and sexual abuse of inmates. It led to massive street protests, and the opposition cast Saakashvili as a corrupt autocrat. President Saakashvili rose to power in the Rose Revolution of 2003, sweeping aside the corrupt Soviet-era elites. His time in office has seen Georgia establish closer ties with the West, but also conflict with Russia over South Ossetia, the breakaway region Moscow has recognized as an independent state. The strain has sometimes been obvious. In latter years, President Saakashvili has faced growing accusations of authoritarian behavior. The results of this election will determine how closely he'll have to work with his political rivals before his second presidential term ends in January next year. Which direction Georgia will take in the future is not yet clear, but for now, the mood among many voters is one of optimism and hope. When the results finally come through, that's when we'll have an understanding about which direction uh, this country is headed in politically. A government will be uh, formed after the official results are come, coming through. We still don't know at this stage whether it's going to be uh, Bidzina Vidishvili's Georgian dream coalition with a new government or whether there will still be some kind of a challenge from uh, President Saakashvili and his UNM party. It all boils down to the way in which the seats have been allocated. And so long as the Central Election Commission results continue to come through, uh, there's still plenty to wait for here before a final decision is to be announced.